building on the high lens with no regard for its impact on the low lens. That's how critics are framing the debate surrounding a proposed development on one of the hills above historic Ellicott City, which is coming to a head this week. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on the Taylor Highlands project. Oh my God! Unmitigated flooding with deadly results. It happened in 2016 and 2018, and now, just as work is getting underway to help protect historic Ellicott City, a proposed development for atop one of the hills surrounding it is drawing fire from opponents. This is the last 60 acres of 600 acres that have been cleared and scraped immediately above the old Ellicott City watershed. And this particular phase one, Taylor Highlands, uh, it drains exclusively into onto Main Street. Taylor Highlands, as the project is called, is coming before the Howard County Planning Board during a virtual hearing on Thursday. And there's concern over its massive scale. Phase one alone of the development calls for the construction of more than 250 luxury apartments and townhomes all along College Avenue, which is one of the county's scenic roads. That designation requires a setback of 100 feet or more, while critics say this developer is trying to whittle that down to a 75-foot buffer. And their argument is sort of, well, the scenic road has changed since... 1994, so let's change it some more. You know, let's get more variances. That's a little bit like arguing that, uh, you know, the river's already polluted, let's pollute it some more. Even if the project clears that hurdle, some opponents say they'll appeal to planners' common sense as a matter of public safety. I'm never gonna be okay with clearing forests in the, in the old Ellicott City watershed. It is madness. It, it is self-defeating. And again, in a particular location like this, where there is not even a plan for downstream floodworks, it, it is awful. We reached out to the landowner and planners on the project, but no one has offered any comment. The virtual hearing gets underway Thursday night at 7 o'clock. In Howard County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.